talk you through setting up and looking at this signal on a lab scope. Remember, the SCI receive signal to the PCM must be here before the system will start. This is scan tool to PCM communications. We're going to use a one millisecond per division. That's going to give us 10 milliseconds full screen so we can see a complete burst of information. The voltage scales are 5 volt scales. That's on the blue trace and on the red trace we're also going to use a 5 volt scale. Now what we've done is we've offset these two scales slightly. Look on the right side. The zero point for the blue scale is near the center of the screen. This is different than the red scale because we don't, we don't want them overlapping each other. We've moved the red scale down to this point so we have two signals we can see them both. We must have an SCI receive signal for the PCM to start communications with the scan tool. We're going to now start and see what this looks like and talk about some of the different characteristics. Our trigger point is the little dot here. It's set too low. Set this low, it doesn't always lock in on the first pulse. But we can still see the signals. But if you wanted them a little more steady, you could move it up for a better trigger point. Now we're going to try to cover most of the uh, lab scopes out there to show you how to set trigger points. But you can see now you're looking at burst of information. We get a blue signal coming in and a red signal replying back. That is the format of SCI. It is for communications between a scan tool and, a and the PCM. So utilize this. If these are missing or wrong, go into the diagnostics for SCI.